find yourself constantly dying to the turmoils of a volcano dungeon due to the lackluster amount of volume in your hair? Uh, yeah, why yes. Yes I do, actually. Well look no further because there's Dungeon Dew Hair Gel! Wow! How does it work? It's easy, stupid. Just squeeze some Dungeon Dew hair gel in your hair and voila! Amazing, I, I feel like I can take on the world. Hey, that's pretty cool. Can I try? Shut up, you! Call now and we'll burn a free eyebrow comb. Don't waste your time and burn to death in lava. Call now. While Dungeon Dew Hair Gel will give you an advantage in escaping the Volcano Dungeon of Dread, that doesn't mean it's going to be an easy task. The objective of Escape the Volcano Dungeon of Dread is to traverse your way upwards throughout each level battling enemies like green beasts and skull birds, and also avoiding booby traps such as spikes and fireballs. Then on top of that you have boiling lava riding your ass, so there's a lot going on in a short amount of time. As you climb and climb your way through the dungeon, you'll earn points the higher you go. But aside from getting altitude, you'll be collecting coins as well. They'll help you reach that higher score, and if you collect enough, there might be an extra life in it for you. Also, you didn't hear this from me, but uh, be sure to keep your eyes peeled, because the dungeon contains secret areas that hold vast treasures. I'm talking buku cash, bro. The controls work well and feel good in Escape the Volcano Dungeon of Dread, but they aren't perfect. An issue I had was when it came to attacking enemies. When I would get close to an enemy, I'd mash the attack button, but the attacks lag behind my key presses resulting in me being hurt by the enemy. An adjustment to this is having distance between you and the enemy, but sometimes that isn't an option. Escape the Volcano Dungeon of Dread can be a difficult game, but it is forgiving because of, well, for one, you're given a health bar, two, you're given three lives, and three, once you lose one of those three lives, you start at the beginning of the level that you died on. So with those three points, it's really hard to complain about the difficulty. Okay, while we're on the topic of difficulty, you're going to be replaying through each level a lot. It's a bit discouraging at first, but the plus side is that you're able to learn from your mistakes and know how to better tackle each level on the next playthrough. Also, you'll be able to discover those secrets some dude was talking about. Hmm. This is a Volcano Dungeon of Dread, but there is nothing dreadful about the art style and music of this game. Colors are vivid and saturated, and details of the artwork of each level are exceptional. The music is fast-paced and energetic, making the escape from death more thrilling. Overall, Escape the Volcano Dungeon of Dread is a fun, quick, and dynamic adventure. It can be challenging, but it's balanced out by each playthrough providing new challenges and discoveries. Now this was a project Thomas McCloskey did to learn Construct 2, and if this is the result of that, I say not bad. Not bad at all, man. So if you enjoy the thrill of outrunning lava and cutting up green beasts, then go play some Escape the Volcano Dungeon of Dread. I've provided links to the sites and so on in the description below. If there's a Flash game you'd like for me to play and possibly feature it here on Flash Dash, then leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Hey, folks, if you enjoyed that video, then be sure to subscribe to Banana Arcade and also check out our other awesome videos. You can also stay up to date by following us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks, guys.